In fact, you recently said uh, a president can't do everything. Well, I got news for you, Vivek. I've been in the hallway. I've been in the West Wing. A president of the United States has to confront every crisis facing America. I'm not sure I exactly understood Mike Pence's comment, but I'll let you all parse that out. Yeah, let me explain it to you, Vivek, if I can. I'll go slower this time. I, you know, I, I sometimes struggle with the reading comprehension. Look, I was, uh, right I was a House conservative <laughs> leader before it was cool. But Joe Biden has weakened this country at home and abroad. Now is not the time for on-the-job training. We don't need to bring in a rookie. We don't need to bring in people without experience. Listen, listen, we listen, we need to bring in now that everybody's gotten their memorized, pre-prepared slogans out of the way, we can actually have a real discussion now. The, the, the reality and the fact of the matter is... Is that one of yours? Uh, it, not, not really, Mike, actually. Yeah. We're just going to have some fun tonight. And the reality is, you have a bunch of people, professional politicians, super PAC puppets, following slogans handed over to them by their 400-page super PACs last week. The real choice we face in this primary is this. Do you want a super PAC puppet, or do you want a patriot who speaks the truth? Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie also went after Ramaswamy, calling him an amateur on the debate stage after the former biotech executive called climate change a hoax. Listen, listen, no, listen. Had no, Let, wait, wait, no, hold on, hold I've on. I've had enough. I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like ChatGPT standing up here. And the last person in one of these debates, Brett, who stood in the middle of the stage and said, what's a skinny guy with an odd last name doing up here was Barack Obama. And I'm afraid we're dealing with the same type of amateur standing on stage tonight. And, and you'll help elect me just the, like you did Obama, too. Give me that the same type brother. of amateur. Last night also marked the first presidential debate in more than 50 years where Roe versus Wade was no longer the law of the land. When asked about the possibility of a federal abortion ban, the only woman on stage, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, had a different, more nuanced view than former Mike President, than former Vice President Mike Pence. When it comes to a federal ban, let's be honest with the American people and say it will take 60 Senate votes. It will take a majority of the House. So in order to do that, let's find consensus. And Nikki, you're my friend, but uh, consensus is the opposite of leadership. When the Supreme Court returned this question to the American people, they didn't just send it to the states only. It's not a states only issue. It's a moral issue. It's going to take unapologetic leadership, leadership that stands on principle and expresses compassion for women okay. in crisis hold, hold pregnancies. I'll do that as president of the United States. He called my name, sir. So I'll respond to that. seconds. So first of all, I will say it is in the hands of the people, and that's where it should be. But when you're talking about a federal ban, be honest with the American people. I am we haven't honest. had 45 pro-life senators in over 100 years, so no Republican president can ban abortion abortions any more than a Democrat president could ban all those state laws. Don't make women feel like they have to decide on this issue when you know we don't have 60 Senate votes in the House. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott also weighed in on abortion. Despite commanding, commending the Supreme Court last year for, quote, returning the power back to the states where it belongs, Tim Scott took a different tack last night, claiming blue states should not have the authority to decide their own abortion laws. We cannot let states like California, New York, and Illinois have abortions on demand up until the day of birth. That is immoral. It is unethical. It is wrong. We can't leave it to Illinois. We can't leave it to Minnesota. We can't leave it to Illinois. We must solve that issue with a 15-week limit at a minimum.